What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Real Talk and today we have a yet another review for you guys and that's for the 2012 film uh, Prometheus and I want to review this film in honor of uh, this week's release of Alien Covenant uh, so check it out. Alright guys, so the film stars uh, Naomi Rapace, Michael Fassbender, uh, Guy Pearce, Idris Elba, Charlie Saron, and Logan Marshall Green, and it's obviously directed by uh, Ridley Scott. And uh, you know what? Overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I saw it back when it first released back in 2012, uh, and I really enjoyed it back then too, and I've seen it like once or twice um, since then. And I've, I've always enjoyed the film, uh, and I didn't really understand the slack that I got, because it did get some slack. Overall, I think it has like 70-something percent on Rotten Tomatoes, which is good. Uh, but from the fans, it got a lot of backlash, because, I mean, uh, not to get into any spoilers, but I feel like they were expecting something like heavily tied into the Alien franchise, and it wasn't that. Uh, but it's, instead, it was its own like film, unique film. And I think... That's why I like it so much because it was just like a standalone film. It does have, you know, its connections or ties or whatever you want to call it to Alien. Um, but overall, it's its own movie and that's why I really liked it. So uh, starting off with the negatives. Um, there are some negatives for me. Um, starting off with, I mean, it's understandable though because of the type of film it is. Um, but I didn't like that, you know, obviously in these type of movies where you have a lot of characters... They don't really get a lot of, you know, characterization, a lot of dialogue and time to develop and stuff like that. But I, like I said, these type of movies where, like, you only really need, like, two or three main characters. Uh, and you have, like, a, a, a sor sort of something that's going to pick them off one by one. You know, obviously you're not going to get too attached to them. Um, but, I mean, you can't, even the main characters at some point. I mean, only Naomi Rapace's character. I really thought she did a really good job. Uh, obviously, Michael Fassbender, uh, David's character was really good. Um, but I mean, um, I don't know. I just really, I mean, thought maybe the side characters could have been a little bit better. But that's not a big like downer for me. Like I said, I'm just I'm from, at this point I'm kind of like cherry picking uh, and trying to you know nitpick the little things I didn't like. But that's one of the things I didn't like. Another thing is that um, the editing was kind of a little bit kind of eh at some points. Like. Um, and I, I reminded me to, like towards the end like you had this scene this great scene I think one of the best scenes in the movie um, and I don't want to get into uh, spoilers um, but it involves Naomi Rapace's character and surgery <laughs> uh, so right after that great scene um, you have like this other like weird reveal and stuff like that of the film and then you go back to like these two characters talking I don't know for me it was just kind of weird uh, like towards the end kind of like the editing was kind of weird but again at this point I'm nitpicking you know just to see okay what are the some things that I would have liked to see done better and stuff like that um, but yeah man overall I mean starting with the uh, well, positives now I really enjoy this movie um, and I love these movies that kind of present a sort of sort of like philosophy to you and that's what I always loved about this movie and, and this one scene that comes to mind is that um, is when uh, the character David and uh, Logan Marshall Green's character, I'm forgetting his name because he was kind of bad in the movies, <laughs> um, they're having this uh, conversation, you know, and for me, that scene stuck with me for a long time, you know, like it's still to today, I still think about that, like when questioning certain things you know so i love movies that like m make me think about those things so i love the philosophy about around this i love the story i love the fact that it doesn't give you all the answers and in fact that you know really scott attended to uh for a sequel for this film i love that that he took a risk because this movie could have flopped and i think it did pretty good over uh, overall i don't know if it made its budget back but we are getting alien covenant and it's uh Sort of, it's uh, I believe it's it's the sequel, uh, sort of retitled, you know, instead of Prometheus Two, Alien, Alien Covenant. Um, so I'm glad. I hope we get a lot of answers uh, from this. But I love that the story was just kind of self-contained and kind of say, okay, this is the story for this movie, you know. And um, more positives, the acting from the main characters, like I said, Naomi Rapace, Michael Fassbender, Idris Elba was really good as well. Um, 
the visual effects are really good too. You can tell that there's a lot of obviously <laughs> there's some uh, creatures in this movie that aren't really um, they're not practical effects, but um, the ones that are, you can tell, and and I lo- I appreciate when they're able to mix visual effects and practical fe- effects together, and um, yeah, the score was really good. I found myself catching the score in these intense moments. I really like that. The cinematography was great. Directing was great. Uh, like I said, in those moments um, that I go back and think about in this film, like they had to be greatly uh, directed and executed very well. Um, so overall, guys, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, I hope I didn't go into too much of the negatives. There's only like two things. And again, I'm nitpicking because I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it's not a, a fun, thrill kind of popcorn flick. You know, it's not a ton of action. There is some in it, but it's not like, you know, Transformers or like, you know, these dumb action movies or like none of like the good action movies, you know, it has its action, but it's not meant to be that some like summer blockbuster movie. It's sort of meant to be this addition to this franchise. And for that, I loved it. And for that, I think I'm going to give it an eight. A solid eight, in my opinion. I really enjoyed this movie. I really enjoyed uh, getting back to seeing it uh, before watching Alien Covenant. And it just made me that much excited to go see it this weekend. So make sure you guys go check it out this weekend. And uh, yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think about the film. You guys agree with my score? Anything I had to say about the film? Stay tuned for more reviews and my Alien Covenant review coming out tomorrow. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, as always, you guys can follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at the Real Talk Talk with Two Ks. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you guys at the movies. Peace.